Hello, coffee lovers. We're back again. Today we're going to talk about decaf uh, and uh, pros, cons, and how it's done and why. So just historical uh, small uh, detail. Uh, beginning early days of decaffeination was not because of uh, needed uh, uh, of decaf coffee. However, uh, they uh, tried to extract the caffeine for pharmaceutical needs out of coffee. And uh, when they got uh, end up having uh, a pile of uh, decaffeinated coffee, uh, they realized that uh, most probably there's some users out there that they might be needing the coffee taste without the excitement of the caffeine. Technically speaking, uh, decaf end up being decaf coffee end up being uh, a byproduct of pharmaceutical needs. Now, coming back to new uh, new days, we developed a lot since then. Uh, different methods we have. Uh, Primarily, it started with uh, using uh, methyl ethylene as solvent, a chemical compound. It does evaporate uh, about 428 Fahrenheit, and most of the time, pseudo bean temperature uh, during roasting reaches that and beyond. Uh, that's why the FDA uh, still uh, says it's uh, good for human consumption decaffeinated coffee with methyl ethylene. And then we uh, also had. Uh, uh, the luck to have uh, the creation of different other solvents such as uh, the water uh, as solvent or CO2 uh, and uh, that is done uh, primarily now in two three plants around the world but started in Vancouver BC in Canada. We take the green coffee we use as some type of a solvent in this case we prefer water to extract the caffeine uh, uh, compounds out of the uh, coffee uh, among with other stuff and then they filter it out uh, the caffeine isolate it and then let the rest in back into the bee uh, and that gives you decaf coffee now we say that 97 percent or 99 percent decaffeinated because you always have something contaminated however uh, the most of the contamination that occurs it occurs uh, during brewing because people don't pay attention while brewing to use different uh, 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 filter coffee funnels uh, different uh, thermoses uh, and they are not uh, conscious about uh, crossover contamination. So if you are really absolutely caffeine sensitive, uh, you should treat yourself asking uh, as an allergy person would ask, uh, is there uh, any uh, peanuts uh, processed uh, in the facility or uh, in that kitchen? So basically, why do we consume decaf coffee? It will uh, reduce our intake of caffeine. If there's certain uh, time slots during the day, we don't want to get that stimulus. We can do it. A lot of times medical uh, uh, reasons, uh, pregnancy or uh, other medical reasons uh, pushes people to uh, consume decaf coffee, uh, basically having the taste, enjoying the cup of joe without the caffeine effect. Uh, that's one of the reasons. Health benefits, uh, there's pros and cons and the jury's out there. Uh, caffeine still remains a, a stimulant that uh, some people need it, others don't. Uh, very important uh, that the quality factor, days of days, uh, uh, we are able to, as a roaster, to select our coffee, green coffee beans, send it over to a plant and have it decaf our own coffee. Uh, previously, 10, 15 years ago, we had to buy whatever was available and majority of the time it was mediocre coffee. Uh, at the end because the uh, process is costly so uh, green coffee traders chose to ch send uh, not their premium coffees to decaf and uh, have it a uh, more price oriented uh, program we have the luxury of different origins as you see we have mexican uh, great mexican sumatran coffee uh, and other blends so we will be able to get uh, beautiful coffees decaffeinated to sum up decaffeinated coffee is an option if uh, Today, if we want to reduce our caffeine intake and uh, do enjoy a great cup of coffee, we have the possibilities to do so. You just have to be careful to purchase the from the right source uh, a decaf coffee that the origin, the green coffee was uh, some kind of a good, great or exceptional quality. Otherwise, you will taste what went in before decaffeination. Take care and have a great day.